It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Get up! On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Call it a gain of 10, and they pick up the first. But he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Freeman again, a first down carry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. On second down, here's Ryan. Midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Now they'll run it on the toss. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second down. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Samson Abukum. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Inside the 30. And a nice 
nice gain of 21 yards. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. It puts them in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want six. Well, these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And on this one, he'll get to the...